Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and today we're playing West of Dead. Uh, this is the second video that I'm making of this game. In the first one, I went over like a lot of the mechanics and stuff. I'll just say right now, though, that uh, it's a it's a roguelike. It's got a really Once good Western came feel. Real close to asking the barman how long he'd worked here, but something in his eyes said I really didn't want the answer. Love it. Level level one four gun and old six gun with two useless chambers. Sure, why not? And then a uh, flintlock pistol. Garbage. Okay. What can we expect to start off with? Oh, what's this? What's this? Yeah, examine. Switch back room. Allows instant travel from one point one waypoint to another. We got that. We need to pick it up? No, I think we just have it any we just always have it. We got that in the last video. Uh we, we will come across these like they look like waypoints kind of, but like yeah, we just we can travel between them, I guess. Boom! Just unload on him. Here's a lantern. Ignite it. I guess, you know, we could have done that. Uh, it's alright. We could have done that before killing that guy, but... Didn't need to. Clip here, melee the... thing? I'm gonna run to the lantern this time. What do we have? Oh, yeah. Reload, reload, reload. Oh, four shooter. I think those guys shoot. They launch bombs. I think. I don't know. This is kind of like the, you know, it's, we just started a run. Oh, what's this? What's this? A trap. Oh, we have to like reload the whole map to go over there. Okay. But we just started a run. So it's like, you know, the low level guys, the level enemies. Level one axe. Throwing axe. Which hits hard, giving the wielder a little breathing space. Really? So some knockback is what I'm... I kind of like our loadout right now, just unload with the weapons. But that that's all thats all that we get. Like, I mean, we, we travel like this, and that was all that was over here. But, I mean, we wouldn't have had ac access to it without that room. Right, all right. Let's come over here. You can see the mini-map. That's where I'm looking in the bottom right. Kind of our, our guiding light. What was the green thing? Oh, that was the health. That's right. We pass it over. We're full. Okay. Yeah, we can travel now. Sweet, sweet. What's this? What's this? Okay. Uh, level one defender. Camera's kind of doing some weird stuff, but uh, I think it's because it's panning over to where the player character is, and then I'm moving it also with the cursor. But uh, shooting from cover awards critical hits. But didn't the no, because it only has two rounds. I really like our loadout right now. I think it's uh, appropriate for this uh, stage of the game. We, I mean, I have not played this game very much. We're going to do this. We're going to get maximum health. Huge increase. I haven't played this game that much, but... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still... I'm just liking this loadout. Just like... Seven rounds. Really fast firing. You can probably take out uh, one and a half dudes really quickly. Uh, most of the time. Let's stun, guys. Oh no, oh that's a bomb, okay, that's fine. Can we just melee him? Melee him, dude. Okay, maybe not. There we go. Slow and sloppy, but we got it, whatever. So we're getting resources there, we got iron and sin. Pretty cool. So I explained in the first video, I'll explain it again here. Um, this game I'm playing to the Xbox Game Pass for PC, and today is the 15th of June, 2021, and it goes off of that platform tomorrow, which is unfortunate because I didn't have a lot of time to play this one. I wish I had, because I like it a lot. I like this game, even again, like the little that I've played. I just, you know, I can usually tell like within 10 minutes of playing a game if I if I'm going to like it. A waft it. of rotten air told me this would take me to the bayou. Or more important, uh, I would hate it. Right? <laughs> I mean, to me. Let's go to the bio. I haven't been here. So what happened here, we, we use, like, the, the Swift Strike Rune, whatever the heck it's called. Uh, the one that gives us, like, this, this teleporting power. We came over here. That gave us access to this thing. And then we have another way out. So usually, the end of the level will say, head towards the hunt. Which is, as far as I can tell, that's, like, the normal level progression. Is you always, you end the level by hand, heading toward the hunt. 
but here we have the option to head towards the bayou, so we're going to do that. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing in that pose, if it's like a, a praying thing or something. I don't know. It's like we are in purgatory. Oh, no, this is just like a different area. The game. You wish to unburden yourself of sin. Flare gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Oh, we only had one sin. The way this works, we collect sin just through killing guys, and then every time that we come across this crazy lady, then she gives us the option to spend sin. You see right here, it takes four more sin to permanently unlock the flare gun. I explained it all in a lot more detail. I wondered what she did with all the sin she collected. In the first then video, she'd look my way, and I'd remember it weren't none of my business. Weren't none of my business. Do thing? Okay. Uh, maybe he was waiting for the dialogue to be finished before he, like, put his thumbs the together place or whatever. Reeked of rot, ignorance, sweat. And underneath the stench, you could feel something more an unjustified, I can't vicious it. pride. I do like it. I, I don't. I don't really sense a cohesive storyline yet, which is fine. Uh, we're getting kind of like spoon-fed, you know, like one kernel at a time, and I, I, I enjoy that. They've created a good feeling for me in this game without like spending 20 minutes on a cutscene. I can kick open the coffin and then it just drops out a gun. Level four defender. Well, heck yeah, boy. What do we got here? Three rounds, four rounds. Ooh, damage is less here. Four. Mm, mm, mm. I think this one. We'll replace this one. Not amazing damage for a level four weapon. I was just looking at this. 30 HP. I was expecting 60 or more. That's all right. Okay, check the mini-map to see where to go. Come down here and, yeah, punch the thing. Can we travel from right here? No, we can't. Can we? Mm -mm. No, that, okay, that's something else. Yeah, I, I'm still confused about what those things are. Oh, oh no. Stun him, stun him. Stun him. And we have another stun. Yeah, get the other stun, please. Oh, jeez. No damage. Oh, a little bit of damage, huh? We like... Wow. That was something else. Cool. Okay. What's this? Ignite the... Oh, I thought we already got that one. Okay, maybe not. I'm glad we didn't take more damage. Kind of learned a lesson about the flying to bat things. They emit a toxic gas. Oh, come on. I'm trying to light that thing up and then it just didn't work. Wow. Okay, here's a bat thing. I'm getting the cha-ching noise. We need to light that lantern again. Shoot. You gonna shoot at us? Or are we done in this room? I guess we are done. The cool music stopped. And we're not being shot at. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, like a shrine or altar. We get an upgrade. Perception. Plus 53% firearm damage. 48 max health. I think firearm damage, man, I want the max health, but firearm damage, I think, that's just, it's too, too huge of a, oh, we got a number two down there. Okay, too huge of a uh, upgrade to pass up. Watch, we'll die in the next room. <laughs> because I didn't take that upgrade. Nice thing. Yeah, see, like, we're just not packing enough punch. Holy cow. And I can't really tell. Are we? No, we're not taking damage. Wow, this game got real here. Not taking damage going through like the slime. That's kind of what I was looking at. Like whatever the green stuff is on the ground. It seems like they can swim through it though, doesn't it? 
Okay, we got the purple gas coming in. Oh, there's a guy. He's got the shotgun. Yep, okay. Okay. Re yeah, we're done. Huh. That was interesting. All kinds of new enemies. I guess we are in the bayou, right? I've never been in a bayou, but like in my head, based on like, you know, popular culture references that I've seen, like movies and stuff, uh, this is what I imagine a bayou would look like. Oh, yeah, travel. Oh. Wait, can we choose a different one? Teleport there or cancel? Yeah, cancel. We're not done exploring this little area. I don't think. We can go down on the mini-map. Bottom right. I think we have more to explore down here. Yeah, there we go. The bubbling marsh. Okay, we're just gonna go around and like hopefully... Okay, there we go. The music kind of skipped there. Did you hear that? What is... Is that... Predator? What is that? No, no, no. No, no, don't shoot me, bro. Okay. Those, they don't stun for very long, do they? The tall ones. The monsters. Is it the swamp thing? They are tough. Can we get another lamp? Yeah, there we go. There we go. I thought uh, the shotgun would do, <laughs> like, more... I guess the, the fire arc is not as wide as I thought. I thought it would hit both of them. That's why I ran up there. Reloading. He's got a sliver of health left. There we go. 245 iron so far. Seven sin. Pretty good haul. Um, yeah, sure, we'll heal. And it sounds like, uh, like a fish store, doesn't it? Like all the bubbles, like, you know, you go in there and like, I don't know why I found a fish store, but like, bubbles being blown in the water. But, no, get out, get away, get away. Only five damage. I'm trying to like the thing, there we go. Okay, we're gonna, mm, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. I did not like that. No, sir. Up here. Um, I think we need a flask. Drink it, dude. Yep. Uh, that was not the wet, the wet left in the fire. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try to run past him and dodge. There we go. I'm glad that there are, there are not more guys with guns. Because we have to be dealing with that while we're out in the open. Get him, get him. Nope. Did we load? Okay. <laughs> All right. Kind of got the gist of it now. Those big guys are slow, but they just, they hit like a truck. Another area? Yep. Big, right? I, I haven't used the, the defender's ability once. The auto crits from cover. I guess there was another guy at the gun if we would have run over here. What's this? Level 3 sawn off shotgun. I bet that did some good damage. Yeah. 62 damage. That's really good. That's really good. We're gonna replace this. Yeah, I feel really under... underpowered here. So far. Um, I guess we're gonna go here. Uh, so far in the bayou. Hairs to prickle on the back of my neck, but I can tell things were about to get nasty. Oh, okay, so head toward the mines. Cool, so I that's a new. A I didn't know where it went, but any place away from here seems pretty good. <laughs> yeah, bite has been pretty tough, actually. So we can go to the mines, which I'm guessing will be tougher, or we can go here. It's saying. He said, I'm sensing a boss fight. Based on what our, our player character said, I'm guessing there's a boss fight somewhere here. Yep. It even says boss. Oh, dude, get... Oh, he's not stunned at all. He's just, like, beating us up. And we can't... Okay. Wrong gun. Oh, we only have shotguns. Oh, no! 
Oh, brutal. That was like, I didn't even have a chance. No chance at all. But I like it. He's like the Undertaker. He has a coffin on his back. Pretty cool. And that was like a, like a censor, right? Like, um, not like censorship of words, but like, uh, like a ritualistic censor that they use in like religious ceremonies. I think that's what he was hitting us with, and that's why we were like uh, afflicted by that purple gas. I'm gonna call this video here, though. Uh, I really like this game. It's called West of Dead. I think it's a really cool roguelite. I've already been all all over all the aspects that I love, but I think the artwork and like kind of the gritty feel of the dialogue, um, it really stand out to me. But anyway, thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and we'll see you in the next one.